A 25-year-old Japanese man was sleeping peacefully when he suddenly developed chest discomfort, palpitations, and faintishness. This was not unexpected because he knew this could happen to him one day. His father, too, had suffered from a similar condition in his mid-30s, until one day he was found dead in sleep. Some people attributed this to a curse, while some thought this was the work of the devil. He was rushed to the nearest hospital, where an urgent ECG was taken. There were ST segment elevations, followed up by T inversions in the leads V1 and V2. This finding is characteristic of Brugada syndrome. A negative troponin test helped to rule out an acute ischemic event of the heart. The 2D echocardiogram study was normal. This is the classical presentation of patients with Brugada syndrome. They develop dangerous arrhythmias in the absence of structural heart diseases. It's because of abnormal sodium channels in the epicardial portion of the right ventricular outflow tract of the heart. If you want to learn the exact physiological basis of this channelopathy, read my article about Brugada syndrome through the link in the description. The electric instability of the heart can lead to sudden arrhythmias like ventricular tachycardia. Our patient got away with an attack of presyncope, but there's a high risk of getting a cardiac arrest in the future. Brugada syndrome is also known as sudden unexpected nocturnal death syndrome. The gene responsible for abnormal sodium channels is SCN5A. The allele responsible for the disease is autosomal dominant, meaning that it can override the effect of the normal allele. If a parent has this disease, there's a 50% chance for their kids to get the disorder. Sometimes we find Brugada pattern ECGs incidentally. They do not require any treatment for the Brugada pattern, as long as they're asymptomatic and don't have a positive family history of a cardiac event. But our patient had a positive family history of cardiac arrest and also an episode of presyncope. The treatment for high-risk patients is ICD implantation. ICDs can detect sudden arrhythmias and convert them to a normal rhythm by delivering electric shocks. Carefully chosen antiarrhythmic drugs like amiodarone and quinidine can be prescribed if the patients have recurrent arrhythmias resulting in ICD shocks. Catheter ablation can also be considered in these patients. Doctors should be extremely careful in prescribing drugs to patients with Brugada syndrome. I have provided a link in the description if you want to refer to the arrhythmogenic drugs. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon with another interesting medical case.